The disease affects the muscle. All of the movement is taken away. I was a competitive figure skater. I was super active and I did dance and I did cheerleading. The patients don't feel any symptoms until they are late teenage years or early 20s. So there's definitely a turning point when the muscle starts to break down. Even after you stop walking, I stopped walking about 15 years ago, the disease has progressed a lot since then. There is a specific gene in these patients that is mutated, and this is called the dysphalin gene. Clinically, it can be referred to as a kind of limb girdle muscular dystrophy, type 2B, or Miyoshi myopathy. At first I thought, well, I'm just out of shape. I need to work out more. I wasn't able to run anymore or jump at all. Stairs have become impossible. These patients are often given an alternate diagnosis or treated for another disease, which they may not have. My bicep muscles are very weak, so like if I want to uh, you know, lift my arm, I, I kind of need to help with the other arm. But, you know, the fact that I can do that and it just makes a huge difference in the amount of self-sufficiency. It is a very hard thing that we are going against. The pharmaceutical companies will only get interested in our disease once we've done most of the grant work, once we've taken it all the way to the finish line. We have to figure out which pathway is the most relevant to explore. We need to harness that passion to get a cure to this devastating disease. Unless there's a treatment, I'm going to need increasing amounts of help from other people to live my life.